Hey guys and welcome to Farm Simulator 2015 on Old Streams Map. As just a general reminder, I am still camping, so unable to answer your comments. Sorry for only being three videos this week, but it is now Saturday, uh, and uh, I didn't get all the videos done yesterday. Uh, that was Friday for me. So, yeah, this is where we sit right now, after the calamities of trying to figure out where to sell the bales. So what are we doing now? I think uh, we'll give this a beast to clean off uh, alongside this. And I believe we are seeding now uh, for the most part. I'm just tabbing around and find out where vehicles are. So yep, we'll get stuff seeding. Uh, I need to put this away. Get that cultivated up. May get the Trax tractor in there if we still have the cultivator for that. Uh, we were mowing this field, so we'll probably continue to do this today and uh, get some automation going with uh, different machinery. Cultivating and, and uh, seeding and all that good stuff. So we'll give this a quick wash off the Black Beauty. Yes, I do like the uh, black on this fence. You do have one called the Black Beauty, if any of you do, not, do or do not remember. Lower the steering wheel. Very quiet machine. Wow, I could barely hear that running in my headset. Uh, now you can hear it. Holy cow. Alrighty, I'm back her up. Now, I got that little cultivator for the tract tractor. And you know what? After me having to restart the game save, you know one thing I think I never actually got? Oh, it did! Where the heck is it? I was about to say, I don't think I got a cedar. Oh, yeah, I did. I think it could be hidden away in there. If not, I'm going to have to go find it. Or unless it's down at the... It's not down at the yard still, is it? No. Okay, I have no idea where the cedar is. Have a look in here. Nope. Need for some WD-40 on that hinge. Dang. Alrighty, uh, let's not make this pain painful to find. Harvester's tools and... Okay, so it's down in the main farm. Oh, I know where it is now. It is here. But I wasn't going to use this machine for it. Hmm. I was going to use the glass. Oh, uh, son of a gun. May end up just picking up another cedar. Although, I don't need to be running both at the same time, I guess. Yeah, I was going to be using this guy. Seed pallet. So as it stands currently, still haven't got anything uh, thumbnail-wise for Monday's video. I need to grab a screenshot. Don't know what that's going to be. That may just be something not to do with it. Although you can be. Ooh because I do need to pick up some bales, so I'll probably do that off camera. Okay, so field 24 is going to become canola, I think. Uh, let's see at the prices of stuff. Canola is... Oh, yeah, canola is up there still, so... At the shutters stock. So we'll probably do canola up in field 34. I do like this seed tray, kind of interesting. Whether you'd leave it on all the time or just have it on the sort of sidelines of the field, I am presume you'd leave it on all the time. If you were seeding, just for extra capacity if you thought you were going to need it. 
truth be known, I know I'm not going to need it on this map. I've just put it on there for the effect, basically. Very steep hill. I'm surprised this tractor actually struggles coming up here. Very surprised. This car coming down, but we've got plenty of time. Still need to find a use for our Massey. Our Massey would be able to cultivate and do that type of stuff as well in the field. In the smaller fields. Have a use. So going through this way just avoids a lot of that mud. And we can just jump into the grass field and run around the outside. So we've got a few silage bales to sal and a couple of grass bales just to... Wow, the silage bales we're going to keep up on this field somewhere. But they don't need to be under storage. The grass bale, I'm probably just going to sal them straight away. Get it over and done with and out of my way. A little grass one. Probably use the telehandler just to go along and pick it up and get rid of it. Alright, so we've got canola. Uh, this is field 24, so we'll. Uh, I was going to use auto combine, but actually. Not auto combine, uh, horse plate, but we won't. I oh, no, seeding I think it's okay on. I can't remember. What is the course plate screws up on? Feels like it's been ages since I've played it. So as it stands, last night I should have, but I didn't. I uh, should have got going on the uh, redo for me of Thornton, the restart. Because that game save seems to be a little screwed up with the Chrono Ultima Baylor, and well, that Baylor is one of my favourite Baylors, so. Whoa, what is that about? gonna have issues in this field. It is one of my favourite bailers, so I'm gonna make that make the game save work, basically. Whether I do it tonight or if I get time tonight, I don't know what the plans are. As of right now we've got to get a crap ton of stuff ready for the trailer. So I'm recording this you guys in the future, technically. As it stands, we've not even left for camping. And the time of you guys seeing this, our trip's almost up. Crazy, eh? Alright, so what I like to do with auto tractors, I like to go around once, twice. I know doing the headland first is wrong, but auto tractor seems the most dependable to get stuff done uh, in a way where it looks good too. Not missing so much crap. I know I missed a big chunk over here. I did that on purpose because that little tight gap. I think Auto Tractor would have issues with, so I'll fill that in afterwards. So as soon as I've got two solid headlands to go around, it should be okay. So yeah, it did miss a huge chunk there actually. So Black Sheep, if you happen to ever watch these videos, I don't know if you do. These fields need reworking. This cedar is definitely sort of a good sized cedar for it. And uh, just needs smoothing out. Oxygen David had the same issue with his map. Some of the field, well, field 11, I think it was. That now was made into a grass field mainly because of that issue. Uh, what am I doing? Jeez. Around the circles, that side, that, and drive. And it should be quite happy to do that by itself, I hope. Okay, on to this guy again. Get back to mowing. So we 
They didn't even get a full headland done last time. Not quite yet anyway. So I'll do the same there. Miss out all that section. Makes it a darn sight more easier. I love this setup for mowing. Beautiful tractor, beautiful mowers. Definitely works well. Works well indeed. I'm probably not going to go around Helland again. I think I'm just going to go straight for going up and down. Seems as it's only a relatively small field. Still a lot of hay though. Uh, grass, not hay yet. Now the one tractor I don't mind getting set up with was playing, that's the cow. But whether we'll uh, set it up on that field or not, I don't know. Field 8 still needs harvesting. Definitely thinking about getting a uh, smaller combine for these fields up here. There's an old timer that you guys haven't seen for a while that we may bring out of time and put in the video series. But of course that means me putting in the mod spreadsheet and I think it's still available. I hope it is anyway. I believe I got it from Mod Hoster when I did get it. I've got a feeling at the time of me recording this guys, just remember that I'm still camping currently so I can't do anything about it. I think there is some stuff missing from the spreadsheet that needs to go on this map. Uh, probably the Fenton, the uh, class tractor. But I, I imagine uh, most of you have the common sense to like, listen to what I say and where it's from, and that's mod hosting. Although, I say in that, the internet is a interesting place. You'll be amazed the amount of people that you say it several times in a video and they'll still turn around and go, Where do you get it from? Or, uh, had one, I don't mean to pick this person out, but I'm going to, without saying usernames or anything. And, uh, they basically said, uh, You should put all your mods that you use in, in the description like Dagoman does. Click on the description. I presume the person looked in my description for it. There is a friggin' thing right at the top that says Mod Spreadsheet. I facepalmed so hard when I read that comment. And one of you guys is pretty active in the comments. I'm not saying usernames because I don't want this commenter to get pinpointed and bashed by any means. Uh, even said, there's a Mod Spreadsheet in the description. Um, I had the comment back. Like, yeah. Do you ever think to look in the in the comment of the description of the mod spreadsheet. <laughs> it's just the laziness it seems people are on the internet is unbelievable. They they must like to click on the description and have it all laid out instead of clicking on the description, opening up a mod spreadsheet and then going to it. Then I had another comment, I'm getting on a rant here but I, I'm passionate on this one. I had another commenter turn around to me and say can you put all the links into one link so we can download them all? Are you freaking kidding me? I facepalmed hard on that one too. Not only does he want me to put all the mods and compile them into one file and not give the original link as a lot of mod creators like, then to re-upload it like that, I just... Oh my. Stop being freaking lazy, guys crazy and the little research you need to do I, I know a lot of us and I'll I'll speak for everyone in farming simulator Pro, for the most part I'm I would love to hear the person that says no, I like the website and that's uploaded mod hoster uses it I think it's one of the most crooked websites to do with farm sim and I just hate it I hate driving traffic to it but I do because it's the original links and I respect the modders for that but that website 
the amount of pop-ups I get and the amount of bloatware that seems to come from it is insane. I, I think that site is going back to the way it used to be and if I figure out on my computer it is, I will definitely drive traffic away from that website. That website used to be renowned for having a lot of issues with uh, malware. And uh, when I last scanned my computer, and I've been downloading a few mods here and there, yeah, yeah, let's just say there was a lot of malware. So I'm hoping it's just from a build up on my computer and it's not necessarily from that site. I hope not. But uploaded, I just can't stand it. I think it's a crooked website. I really do. Uh, if, you, if you guys are smart and uh, look at the file name when you download from that website, open it up and you'll see the file name. If you copy and paste that into your browser or search engine, and 9 times out of 10 you can find it on another side uh, that's uh, a good mod website. As far as just to download that same file as what I do 9 times out of 10. Because I just don't agree with what that website is about, basically. And the download time on it, especially maps, like a 500 meg map, 600 meg map, takes two hours. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, you can go on another website and download it within maybe two minutes? Maybe less? So, yeah. That's my standpoint on that map. So, not good. Not good at all. And I just realized we returned our win row when I need it. Well. Probably should have taken a screenshot in there too. Actually, we'll probably take a screenshot with this guy. When it's going around. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the rant. I'll uh, step down from the stool that I... Uh, my high horse and I'm on right now. Well, uh, I will uh, endeavour to remember that I've said this, what I'm about to say, and that's... Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this, too. Am I the only one that thinks like that about uh, uploaded and that stuff? And Yeah. It's... Yeah, it's crazy. It's uh, definitely crazy. Definitely crazy indeed. For the time being, we're done with this thing. There we go, now it's on the trail. Well, that failed to do is really not going to take us long. I may end up renting the combine for that, the smaller ones. One of the smaller ones, anyway. Oh, we never uh, folded the header down. Eh, no mind. Combine should fit actually alongside that quite nice. Hopefully, anyway. Certainly temporary storage, although it may become permanent. Yeah, perfect. Keeps it out of the weather, just gets strips from now and again. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to clean either of them off because we're not yet through uh, harvest season. And yeah, I'm surprised it's still taking so long. Alright, let's t check in with the class. Cool, you're in a good uh, picture point. As soon as it goes over that. <laughs> okay, picture them. Simple as that. Okay, this guy. What are we doing with this? Well, we're going to be picking up the uh, silage bales and just stacking them basically nicely in the corner of uh, field 25 there. 
just to keep them out of the way. Kind of wondered if that was a tree led down there, but then I just saw the edging in and out. Dry stone wall. That bale there we're just going to pick up. Probably off camera if I remember. Uh, let's set this thing up correctly. Don't want it on mixed bales, I want it on Pacifics. Now I think grass is technically the silage, so it may end up... Oh, no, cool. I was hoping it wouldn't pick them up. And the... That's the thing, what? Grass bales. Now, not hay, not wrapped grass bales, but grass bales, like I've got there. What's the purpose? Why would you want to just bale straight up grass bales? If you weren't going to use it for silage. Unless you don't. Unless you're wrapping them. That's my question to you guys as well. I'm going to have to come back and check the comments. Press that. So these are going to get us a grand, maybe two grand a piece when I sell these. It's uh, quite a little bit of money here. That's all. Five, six, seven, plus what we make out the other field that honestly I don't think is going to be many. So what I'm going to actually do is leave these on the trailer. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll leave them on the trailer. Me, 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 me. A couple of trips, but I'm okay with that. Just so I get at least one neat stack, and where I plan on keeping them is probably uh, down that end, uh, away from that field in case stuff runs into it like we see the uh, class tractor is currently stuck on a tree. Um, we'll keep it down here so it's out of the way, probably along the margins here of the field. Just so we know nothing's going to run into it because all the grass stuff we have to do ourselves anyway. So. Yeah, probably about here. I never mow that far in. That'd be perfect. Alright, that's that done for the time being. Uh, jump into the class and see what its math function is. Is completely stuck. Oh, it started doing the bits that I didn't want it to do, didn't it? Maybe I did have to do a couple more headlands so it would miss that, but then there would have been no point doing it. Well, apparently we've got this done. I was going to do that myself anyway, but still. That's the thing, sometimes I don't get how does it end up all the way there when here's the point it should have been following. Definitely not perfect auto tractor. The auto tractor is the cut come on leaps and bounds from what it used to be. It used to be the biggest POS out there. But it's tolerable now, it still has its issues. If any of you are back from my, the early days of Farm Sim 13 and you've subscribed from me from back then, you know how much issues I've had with this auto tractor, but eh, it's pretty stable now. Alright, let's uh, get this warmed up. Why? Because we're going to get this into that field. That is tiny. That's why. Nice little ye olde cultivator. I think this is from the old timers pack. If it's not, I have no idea where I got it from. That's the thing with some of these mods where I've had for quite a while. I have no idea where they've actually come from originally. Pretty sure this cultivator is from the uh, old time pack from Giants. The free one from Farm Sim 13. Not exactly a nice pack in my mind. I think they could have spruced it up and made it look a lot nicer instead of just doing a direct port. It's unfortunate. But we are out of time. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. 
we will be back with our regularly scheduled program on um, probably Tuesday. Uh, we are coming back Sunday night. It's usually late Sunday night we get back, so... Um, Monday will be a write-off for me. I may be able to get a video done for Tuesday. If not, it'll be Wednesday. Uh, other than the camping videos, the camping videos may come. Also, there is some game footage of my camcorder that I need to show, sort of bring to you guys. Uh, my tackle box, fishing gear, and I think I have a video of my laptop. If I don't, I will get one done soon. I have apologies for that. It's taken longer than it should have. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, stay tuned for more farming sim and other stuff. Need to get some trucks and videos done. Mm. Soon, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys later. See ya.